Come all your sons of freedom and listen to my team. Come all your roving lumberjacks that run the Saginaw stream. We'll cross the Tidibiwati where the mighty waters flow. And we'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumbering go. And once more a lumbering go. We will roam the wild woods over and once more a lumbering go. Come on, you sons of freedom, and listen to my theme. Come on, you roving lumberjacks that run the Saginaw streams. Across the Tittabawa Sea, where the mighty waters flow, and we'll roam the wild woods over. Our Michigan I.O. That was once more a lumbering go. And the reason you're hearing it today goes back to 1938 when the Library of Congress sent a young man named Alan Lomax to Michigan. At the tender age of 23, Lomax was already a seasoned archivist and field worker, and he came here with a vinyl recording rig and a mission to preserve as many of the old lumbering songs he could find uh, before they were forgotten. So he spent three months here traveling around the state, interviewing anyone who remembered a hint of the old songs, from the lumberjacks, the ore miners, the sailors um, that were from generations behind them already. Um, at the end of that three-month period, he drove his Buick home with 400 songs cut into vinyl. The songs that you'll hear this afternoon come from a time of Michigan's early statehood, when the lumbering trade was growing up near Saginaw and Muskegon. The ore miners were hauling rock out of Escanaba. They sang about their work, and they set these words to music, familiar tunes, new tunes, to tell the tales of their trouble and their pain, their adventure and their triumph. And these songs grew especially strong in Michigan, where the shanty boys reigned in the winters for decades. They sang about their jobs, the women they loved, they ate like Olympic athletes. <laughs> and these songs pointed to an entertainment of the day, a way to pass the time, but also there was a deeper human connection at play. But they never stopped to write them down, and that's why we're here. One of the songs Lomax collected is called Michigan I.O., just like us, and you might be wondering what that means, I.O., does it have any special significance to us? to the authors, and um, the answer is no. It's in the folk tradition, you borrow. You borrow existing melodies, uh, tropes, ideas, and the lumberjacks who wrote Michigan I.O. were borrowing a melody by the name of Caledonia, and that was a, it was a British sailor's song. 
that ended with the line, Caledonia. And they wanted to end with Michigan, though. So you can do the math. Three syllables becomes five, and you have Michigan I.O. Michigan I.O. is a work song. It's a, a gripe song. It's about how difficult it was to chop down trees all winter long in the woods in Michigan. And it sounded a little like this. For to tell the way we suffered is beyond the heart of man. But to give a fair description I'll do the best I can. Our grub, the dogs they laugh at. Our beds built in the snow. Oh, Grant, there is no bigger hell than Michigan, I That song griped about a cold winter felling trees in the forest. Other songs told grand tales of stormy seas on Lake Michigan, like this. Come all you bold sailors that follow the lakes On an iron ore vessel you're living to make We shipped in Chicago, bid adieu to the shore Bound for Escanaba, for Red Eye Shovels while others took spades. Some took wheelbarrows, each man to a stray. We look like red devils, our fingers got sore. We cursed Escanaba, let them die in war. Other songs were almost advertisements for burgeoning communities that no one had heard of quite yet. When I first come to Traverse Town, there was two houses scattered all around. There was one place where I could stay overnight if I could pay. I never did see what a place Travis City is a good thing to be, oh dear. There's Mr. Hannah, though I like to forgot. He's the best man in this whole life. Go to a meeting and he preach and he pray. When you come home, the cards he play, oh dear, oh dear. I never did see what a place Travis City is a good thing to be, oh dear. I never did see what a place Travis City is a good thing to be, oh dear. Never did see what a place Travis City is a good thing to be. And other times, the days were just so hard that they needed to sing a song to keep the spirits of the camp up, like this. Yeah. 
the boys when we're out on the street singing I dare you oh dare The songs Lomax collected came from a variety of cultural backgrounds. They were sung in different languages. They spanned from love songs to fiddle tunes to epics. Ordinary for them and enlightening for us because they give us a taste of what it was like to be in that place in that time. And that's what folk music does. We're able to sing the notes that were sung before. And as a way, we enter into the conversation in new ways today. We're able to tell stories on behalf of those who came before. So we set out to make these old songs new again by reimagining them, re-recording them, re-performing uh, them to today's audiences. It's not really about celebrating the past. It's more about understanding our place by understanding and participating in the experiences of the people who lived um, or touched Escanaba, Beaver Island, Traverse City, Saginaw, the Flat River, the places that these songs um, sing about. Time and place. These songs maybe were written to pass the time, but it draws us into that deeper human connection, connection to the necessity and value of ordinary people doing their thing in ordinary places just like this. Alan Lomax put it this way, the folklorist has this to say to his audience, he goes where book learning is not. He lives with the underprivileged. And he brings back proof in their songs and their stories and dances that these folks are expressive and are concerned with the beautiful and the good. So, come all you bold sailors. Come all you roving lumberjacks. Let's head for the inland lakes of Michigan I.O. Let's keep singing together, telling stories, and connecting to the sounds of the lake and the forest. Thank you. We're Michigan, Iowa.